When it comes to making big money moves, Rebecca Nengi Hampson, aka Nengi Pengi, sure stays on top of her game. Just after the ex BB Ninja star graduated from Biggie's house in 2020, she cast her nets wide and far and caught many big fat fishes, including multi million naira endorsement deals, which she used to grow a shoe business. It was glaring to all that this Biasa beauty was young and getting it. So when Nengi struck a pose in July of 2021 with a new whip alert, a white Range Rover worth 37 million naira, she ensured everyone felt a win. The soft-spoken ex-beauty queen told everyone who cared to listen that her latest automobile acquisition was the dividends of all her hard work. But all the motivational speeches about hard work and grace died down within 48 hours after Gist Lover blog revealed Michael Diongoli, Nengi's alleged sugar daddy, is the grace and hard work. Exposing how the businessman and Ponzi scheme operator had been sponsoring the lockdown star even before her stint with BB Ninja, the blog claimed they didn't only buy her the 37 million naira Range Rover but also got her a house. Did Nengi debunk the allegations or admit it with her full chest? No, neither. However, the upcoming actress in reaction told her haters, Get my pretty name out of your mouth. This seemed to have worked for a while until August 30, 2022, when what seemed to be the truth finally surfaced. Barely two months after Nengi's alleged sugar daddy was arrested for 1.2 billion naira fraud, there are now reports that the ex beauty queen's white Range Rover has been traced and confiscated by EFCC as proceeds of the crime. With Nengi back on the trend table, a social media user has just one piece of advice to side chicks Pray for your benefactors. As you they do just to collect from him, they tell Baba make you protect him. Has Nengi's white Range Rover truly been confiscated by the EFCC? Is Mike Diongoli really the BB Ninja star sugar daddy? Did the Ponzi scheme operator buy the car for her? How has she reacted to these new allegations? Hello guys, it's Tiko here for African Glitz. It's not uncommon to hear Ogbonge Lagos and Abuja hustler say, if she did a bomb, she most likely is a runs girl or has a sugar daddy somewhere. Well, for BB Ninja star Nengi Pengi, fans have consistently tried to find another explanation for why she went under the knife for a bigger backside. But this is often counterproductive because the ex-beauty queen, popular for living the soft baby girl lifestyle, is always in the news for driving controversies. Controversies such as having sugar daddies in high places and mixing hard work with runs, which yet again is enveloping her at the moment. Before we delve into more details, let's briefly answer the multi-million dollar question, who is Nengi? Rebecca Nengi Hampson, better known as Nengi or Nengi Pengi, is a successful model, actress, entrepreneur and reality TV star from Nembe Brass local government area of Bayosa State. The 24-year-old beauty was born on January 1, 1998 in Port Harcourt, River State. Life started rough for Nengi at the age of two when she lost her father. It only became more challenging after she lost her mother to kidney disease. With almost no one to take care of her finance, the Biosa beauty began modeling at a young age and participated in several beauty pageants along the way. In 2013, she participated in the Queen of Trust pageant and later in the year, in 2014, she was named Miss Peace Nigeria and in 2017, she featured in Most Beautiful Girl in Nigeria pageant. While modeling, Nengi managed to juggle it with school, leading her to graduate from the University of Port Harcourt with a degree in Linguistics and Communications. However, Nengi's rise to fame came following a stint with Nigeria's biggest reality TV show, Big Brother Ninja Lockdown Edition, in 2020. Just for her dazzling beauty alone, this ex-beauty queen was singled out as one of the fans' favorites and her fan base tripled into the show when she made a male housemate, Ozo, the laughing stock on social media over his romantic interest for her. The 24-year-old would later snag the second runner-up, positioning her for numerous brand deals and unrivaled fame. By the end of 2021, this top model had signed deals with Jenny's Glow Nigeria, Okta FX, ITEL Nigeria, Guinness Nigeria, Minimi, Payport, Glenfiddich Nigeria, Boss Jury, and the list goes on. Aside from gracing the covers of numerous magazines, Nengi also snagged a role in an award-winning movie, Rattlesnake, The Ahana Story, and the TV series, Nkoyo. After she left Biggie's house, the beauty queen was appointed as a special assistant to the Bayelsa state governor, Diri Doye. Nengi also starred in the music video of David O's hit song, Jawa, and with more money in her pocket, expanded her shoe business, Shoes by Flora. 
Indeed, life has been good for this by Elsa Beauty, who claims that 9 out of 10 times, she's out of the country living the good life and once spent 15 million naira on her birthday photo shoot alone. This explains why no one raised an eyebrow when she announced her latest automobile acquisition to fans in July 2021. Sharing a video of the new whip, Nengi showed off the interior and exterior of a Tia Roba 2018 white Range Rover Vela worth 37 million naira to the envy of her haters and trolls. Again on Instagram, the 24-year-old model shared another picture of herself beside the new whip and then added the caption, young and getting it. Overexcited fans rushed to her page to see for themselves what Nengi termed as the proceeds of her sweat and hard work while sending her heartfelt congratulatory messages. Unfortunately, weeks later, popular Instagram gossip account Just Lover decided to bust their bubbles by revealing that UK-based businessman Michael Diongoli is the one their faith termed grace and hard work. Sharing more details, the blog alleged that Mazi Diongoli had been Nengi's sugar daddy before her stint with Bibi Naija and he got her the cash she's been flaunting. Before unveiling a new whip, the reality TV star had become a landlord in Lagos after procuring an exquisite house worth 75 million naira in March 2021. While announcing a new landlord status, the former beauty queen said it was the product of all her sleepless nights and hard work. But Gist Lover Blog explained why Nengi was the only lockdown housemate enjoying grace and dividends of hard work, alleging it's the sugar daddy effect. In fact, it said that Diongoli also produced and sponsored the movie Bad Boys and Bride Maids, where Nengi played the lead role. What a sugar daddy with so much sugar, right? For those who don't know Michael Diongoli, is the founder of UK Dion Group and UK Dion Investment Limited. In a publication dated June 6, 2022, Vanguard Nigeria described him as Nigeria's financial trailblazer, proving the Niger Delta is blessed with oil and brains. At the time of his alleged relationship with Nengi was first exposed, Diongoli was reportedly on the run for defrauding some investors in the UK. Interestingly, Nengi didn't debunk the rumors of being Diongoli's side chick. His wife, Rosaline, did. In a series of posts, Rosaline claimed the reality TV star is a longtime friend and she has no relationship with her husband. Later sharing a gorgeous photo of herself, Nengi wrote to her haters, Get my pretty name out of your mouth. Unfortunately, this was only for a little while. In March of 2022, this lover again called out Nengi and other alleged side chicks of Diongoli, making their sugar daddy send his wife packing from his home. Reacting, Rosalind Diongoli seemingly confirmed the report on her Insta story where she wrote, I am done being stupid. False pretense everywhere, everywhere, beautiful liars. Just on the heels of this controversy trending on Twitter, an employee of Diongoli wrote to Gist Lover that the sugar daddy has refused to pay his staff salary because housing investors' money to fund Nengi and other side chicks' lifestyle. This message came with a heap of curses, which we think finally caught up with Nollywood's favorite sugar daddy on July 7, 2022. The Ponzi scheme operator was arrested and arraigned for defrauding a retired army colonel, two professors, and a corporate society of 1.3 billion naira. Reports have it that Diongoli has been defrauding unsuspecting people in the UK and came to Nigeria to hide when the authorities issued a warrant for his arrest. While conducting due diligence to put a case together, the EFCC reportedly traced all proceeds of his crime, including the 37 million naira Range Rover the businessman allegedly gifted Nengi got confiscated. The ex Bibi Naija star was reportedly invited for questioning and may be in big trouble. A Twitter user, Poja, broke the unconfirmed news on August 31st this year. He wrote, Ponzi scheme owner bought a Range Rover worth 37 million naira for Nengi, and she said she spoiled herself with it. When she posted it, God went filled everywhere that day. EFCC don't collect the car as the crime proceeds, and the owner arrested. There are now reports that the reality TV star got herself a look-alike car to replace the confiscated one, even though some people think it's a lie. Since this news went viral, many have been given hot takes on social media. One social media user wrote that he thinks Nengi is the one influencing a sugar daddy to commit fraud. He wrote, Think Nengi is the one advising that man to be wicked. That girl likes using men to achieve her goals, and she's the only one benefiting from Nigerian government. Under two years, she has a house, car, private business. At official EFCC should look into her case. One user thinks another sugar daddy is waiting in line to buy Nengi another car. He wrote, another man goes to buy another one for her. One other user decided to give moral lessons. He wrote, 
Don't believe all that you see on social media, especially Instagram. Also reacting, Nengi's sister, Chef Tuma, revealed how Nengi is not cut out for this celebrity life and constant controversy. Chef Tuma wrote on Instagram that she pressured her sister to go for Bibi Niger even though she wanted a quiet life. Was actually the one that pressurized her to go for it. It was more like my dream. She actually wanted a peaceful and quiet life. Now I sometimes wish I didn't. But in all, we thank God for everything and we will always conquer. After all, them know they try to pluck fruit whenever ripe. Nengi who has refused to debunk the news or admit it has however chosen violence. In a tweet, she wrote, Wake up, po. I say make a reminder now. It's a new day to drag Nengi. You can't be tired already. Where are all them paid Twitter influencers? No posts today? Tell us guys, what do you think about Nengi's white Range Rover being seized by EFCC? Since she didn't debunk it, would you say it's just a rumor or all is good? Regardless of this story, do you think Nengi is hardworking and made her money via her own sweat? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.